What up, fam? Right, guys, so we're out here at Onan. We are doing some spray topping. So you might be wondering what spray topping is. Well, spray topping is when the weeds, you can see all these green weeds. It's pretty short because the sheep have been eating it. Um, when they set a seed, the seed head comes up. We come along and you can spray it with a small amount of chemical and that stops the seed from growing next year. And so because we're using a low rate of chemical, it's a fairly cheap sort of an application. And because we're late in the season, and once the plant has set its seed already, we also get to re retain, the ground has cover on it. The weeds stay there. It's not like when you spray something before it's set a seed head and it all just shrivels up to nothing. Doing it at this time, there is a little bit of cover that stays on the ground. Um, so that's one benefit. Um, so cover on the ground, low rate of chemical, which means we're using less chemical and and yes so no viable seeds for next year so what happens is there still be a seed there except with this chemical that we're putting on it 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 uh stops it from being able to grow it's infertile for next year it's a really good way of bringing uh pasture paddocks that are quite weedy uh, it's a good way to of bringing them back into a cropping rotation um, fairly cheaply and fairly effectively. So as I mentioned in uh, my last video, the loosen seeding video, um, when I finished the paddock I connected my phone to the hotspot and um, it uploaded all of the data to the cloud. That was the Ag Leader system. Um, but you can see up here, there's a little Agfinity logo with the cloud next to it. Now that cloud means that it's sending and receiving data. So if someone were to, or say if Grant Yates from Southern Precision was to hop onto his support computer, he would be able to view what I'm seeing on my screen which is very handy. But that's all possible because of this little Wi-Fi router down here. It's got an aerial on the roof. Um, it's got a little SIM card in it. Um, it just sends Wi-Fi to the screen. Um, it's also, it gets signal really well because I have got no signal on my phone, but it's got full bars signal the Wi-Fi router so anyway that's very handy in case of emergency but anyway I'm gonna have a look at the SMS program tonight um, or tomorrow when it's raining maybe hopefully um, and yeah I'll just run you through all of what that does and uh, how it's how it's just like your one-stop shop for all of the data that the Ag Leader screens are collecting. So this paddock's got some pretty big hills in it. And you get a nice view from up the top. It is also a nice big paddock, that's for sure. She's about 93 or 4 hectares, I think. Yeah, it's nice and long. A few hills to go over, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I wish we had paddocks this big back at home, but if we did on mum and dad's block, we'd only have six paddocks, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to manage it with only six, but anyway, that's all right. We got big paddocks out here, so we'll get our big paddock fix when we're farming out here. All right, so we got finished spraying the paddock way down the back, and now we've moved up to this paddock, just over there. That one's called the shed paddock because it's near the shed. 
Once again, we have creative names for our paddocks. Anyway, it makes sense. We're filling up now. Um, just letting a bit of water get in there before I suck the chemical in. Um, yeah. Got my RB Sellers shirt on today. You can see it's written down the arm. Good gear. Go and have a look at the link in the description um, to get your own. It's worth a look. They're a great company, selling great stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to keep trying. So as I was walking down the platform before, my shirt hooked, or my pockets on my shorts hooked on this nozzle body and broke all this off. Must have been pretty brittle if that's all it took. But anyway, we better fix it. Let's see if this works on my farm. Mm. There we go, it did work. That's a handy trick. So that was about 300 hectares for the day. Add 100 litres to the hectare. Pretty good effort, I reckon. Um, Ag leaders just transferred it all to the cloud. We'll be able to have a look at it on SMS later tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. All right, so I forgot to do any real explanation yesterday about what we were spray topping so you can see here i haven't mowed my grass for a while it's getting very long but anyway the weeds are fairly much pretty much the same so what we were spray topping is barley grass geranium whatever that thing is and silver grass now this silver grass is not as advanced as out north but it's still there but anyway what all of these things do barley grass geranium silver grass and whatever that other thing was they all create little spikes like here's some oh no that's not them so the geraniums haven't quite fully spun out yet but the geraniums, they make a corkscrew type thing that kind of work their way in. The uh, barley grass, it has... All of these weeds have spiky things on them. So, you know, when you walk through tall, tallish dry grass in the summer and you get a heap of prickles in your socks, you pretty much... That's what we're, we're trying to stop. We won't stop it for this year, but we'll stop it from next year, from being as bad next year. Because the same as the prickles getting in your socks in the summer, the prickles get into the sheep. And when they get into the sheep, if you send them to the abattoir, they've actually got to cut a little bit of meat out around where the pick, prickle is, because it might be infected or something like that so to make it clean they've got to do that and when they do that it takes more work and they drop your price so it's to stop that but also if a sheep has too many prickles in its wool like if you've got too many prickles in your socks it's hard to keep walking um sheep will if they've got too many prickles in them they'll actually start to lose condition they they get 
they get sulky. They don't want to walk because every time they take a step, it feels like all the prickles are pricking into them. So, um, yeah, that's just what we were trying to stop. And we've had really good success with it over the years. All right, so as you can see, it started raining. So I've come in and uh, we're gonna have a look at Ag Leader's SMS program. All right, so this is the main screen of SMS and uh, I'll have to apologize. I'm not smart enough to screen record or anything like that. So you'll just have to put up with GoPro footage of it. But anyway, over here we've got our management tree. Now this is, um, yeah, where most of the stuff happens from. This is where all our data is stored. We, you can see this button here is, says Agfinity Sync. I've already synced our Agfinity account, which is what our devices have, the, the data that our devices have made, and it's already on here, so you'll see them there. We'll get in and have a look what we can find. So we'll hit this plus, merit contracting, or oh, maybe we'll, we'll just click on that. Look at this, here is our little map. Now you see these ones have black boundaries around them. These ones do not have any boundaries. That's because I didn't map any boundaries when I was spraying in there, but I did on those two. So we're actually gonna go in and put boundaries around these. We'll get our little mouse onto that plus, drop down there, and we'll hit a Paddock, there we go. Now if we hit this plus here, we can see what's been happening here. So, spraying, how many How many um, sprays have we had? We've had one broadleaf, one wild oat spray, and one that's called water, but that was actually Secura. Um, that was my first go at spraying with the Ag Leader and I made a mistake. So we're gonna fix that up and um, so I'll just hit this plus here. Here's what we've done. The broadleaf spray on the wheat, the wild oat spray on the wheat, and then this one that's called water. So we're gonna go into water and uh, we're gonna go up here to this show menu tab and up to edit item. Here we go. So the product name, we're gonna backspace that out. We're gonna put in Secura. All right, so we've got Secure in there. We're gonna go across to our product mix. We're on formula base mix. And this is the product table. We're gonna go across to add, add a product. So now it says no product, but we're gonna go down here. We're gonna find Secure. That's what we want. So Secure, I know, is sprayed at 118 grams. So we'll write in 118 and then we'll change this to grams. Yeah, if I can find it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, mass, that'll change it. And now we want to do this in grams. There we go. And that is it. We can see we sprayed 100 liters of water and She's all ready to go now. So, now it says that we sprayed Secura in there, which is good, because now all my records will be up to date. All right, so we got all that sorted out, and now what we're gonna do, you can see I've put some boundaries on these paddocks. We're gonna put a boundary on this one. So this one is the middle paddock. So we're gonna click on middle, See how it's highlighted there? And we're gonna go up to our top show menu button. And then we're gonna go down to freeze boundary. There we go, it's got a boundary. It's as easy as that. All right, so 
you can see here, this is our, or well, southern blocks, our, our main property. Um, you can see there's some paddocks that are not mapped in yet. Um, these ones are all paddocks that we own, um, but we just haven't done any farming on it. We haven't done any spraying or sowing on it, but over time, eventually it will all get sown. So now that I know how to use this, I will go through at some stage and add in all of our crop types so that we can we can see what where each crop is, what each paddock has growing on it. Um, and then after harvest, because we're, we're getting an ag leader yield mapping system in our, installed in our header. So um, after harvest, we'll be able to look on SMS at all of our yield mapping data. Um, we've got a few trials around the place that we've done. Um, so it will be very interesting to see what the yield mapping brings from that because we'll be able to use SMS to to view that, to view view what our trials did, what worked well, what didn't work well, and now uh, what can, we can improve, improve on. It'll also show up our soil types because the yield will fluctuate depending on the soil type. So yeah, I'm really excited about all that this program has to offer and um, I'm definitely gonna use it a heap in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Down in the link in the description, there is a link to my Ag Leader page. You'll be able to get to SMS from there. So um, go and check that out. See what you can find. You might learn something new. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.